Well, hello everybody. This is Heavy Metal Cowboy Mike. I am, oh, pardon me, it is July 3rd, 2020. I'm getting ready to do me some fractal burning or Lichtenberg burning. A little fun. Basically, passing 10,000 volts of electricity through a piece of wood. And it arcs, and it burns the wood in really cool patterns. And what I have here is a piece of willow, willow tree. A uh, guy not too far away was uh, giving away. He just said, wanted someone to cut it down. He said, please take the wood. So I took the wood after I cut it down. And I got four slabs down in the basement drying, about two and a half inches each, about six foot, five foot, pardon me, five foot long. Should be ready to play with here not too long. It's been eight months, I guess. I need to bring them outside so they can start drying better. But what I'm doing right now is I'm soaking, soaking the willow. This is the top piece. The bottom part of this is uh, bark. Just trying to get me a good good flat top on the trunk and just one of the pieces that came off but so anyway I'm putting a solution of water and baking soda one cup of water one tablespoon of baking soda it helps the electricity pass a lot easier and you don't want to have it sopping wet so let me grab my fun stuff here and we'll get to doing some burning all right so I got my probes like I said the whole idea behind this is what you're doing is you're passing about 10,000 volts some of them go up to 15 It's arcs. That looks really cool. You'll see here in just a second. So anyway, I soaked it down, help it help the electricity uh, conduct. So I got a dead man switch, so I step away. Even though it is, it's 10,000 volts, but it's only pushing about 32 milliamps. It sting a little bit. It's not gonna kill me. I hope. Uh, I'm gonna get something out of the way back here. It's in front of the engine. No, I'm going to leave it there. Okay. So, you ready? Let's do it. I hope you can see that. Right there. It's burning real slow. But it's getting real feathery. And I like that a lot. And what I'm hoping, I'm hoping is these two will come in touch and start digging a good trench in. So I want to try to continue that on both sides. I'd like to get a big line on both sides. So it's about to touch, touching. Now what it's doing is this central valley right there in betwixt all that is just burning and getting deeper and wider and deeper and wider. And that comes in handy when I put epoxy in there. Let's try it this way. Okay, I'm moving it out a little bit. Let's see if this will continue on with me here. That's burning over here real good. Look at that. That's cool. But there's really no way to tell which way the... Uh, the burn's going to go. It's going to do what it wants to do. There are certain things you can do to help it along and encourage it in certain ways. Oh yeah, good deal it touched right there. So yeah, now it's going to burn that central vein even deeper. Alright, so I'm going to move this over here. 
see if that does anything for too far away. Oh, look at that. That is some sweet stuff. I love doing this. Burn it, burn it, burn it. Hit that central vein. Vein, that's what I was looking for. Sometimes English know my friend. All right, so I'm gonna move my probes. Some people use a uh, quarter inch copper rod. I thought, yeah, you know, that sounds good, but I had also had some electrical wires. So I took three strands of uh, 12 gauge, wrapped them together. All right, look at that. Oh yeah, 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 I'm liking this. This is gonna be cool. Burn it, burn it. I want that central vein all the way up. If we do it, oh come on, come on, come on. Yeah, looks like it's going growing that way. Going out too. I'm digging that. I hope you can see it bit good enough in the camera. This stuff is just cool. I don't care who you are, this is neat stuff. Come on, baby, get over there, bro. Oh, it's burning the edge, and there it goes. Okay, so it took a ride on the edge a little bit. That's all right. Try one more spot. It might be too far away. We will see. Oh, no, it's not. Look at that. This one's growing more. God, that's going to be neat. So what I'm going to do after this is I take a, a stiff wire brush, welding brush. And I clean out all the charred areas. And then I sand it down to about 400, starting with, uh, depending on what I stopped with 120, so I'll go 220, 320, and 400. Just a really a light sanding, just to clean it up a little bit. It's amazing what that light sanding will do. Wow, that one took a that one took a right hand turn. I was hoping it'd go this way, but it went up. Yeah, my house is too close to the road. You can hear everybody come around the curve. Usually they stomp on it when they get about equal with my garage door. It's fun! Oh, that was neat the way it diverted. It diverted right there. Went a different direction. Oh, goodness. This is just all, all cool. All right, gonna put that there in that vein. Remove this to here, see what happens. Yep, exactly what I wanted. Wanted it to connect. Look at there, connecting again. Burn and churn it, baby. Alright. So, being careful to not touch the positive to the negative, which really doesn't matter because there's no electricity applied. I got a dead man foot pedal switch. And once again, it's, a, it's 10 thousand volts. You know, that's a pretty good jolt. But it's only 32 milliamps. The other day I tried to do this with my welder. Didn't work. It was just like nothing. Then I realized my welder is exactly opposite of this. It puts out high current, low voltage. Got an old Lincoln AC225. And that thing puts out 225 amper amps. But it only puts out 39 volts. All right, so we're gonna flip this around real quick. Put this out of the way so it's not to kill myself. Killing self not good. All right. Now we're gonna work away this way. Probe there. And like I said, this is uh, just three strands. Whoop, there we go, a little bit up, oh, move that over. This is just three strands of 12 gauge wire that I, I twisted around itself really, really tight. Then I put on my ground, ground, grinder 
made a little point just to help it connect. All right, there we go. Look at that. Oh, that's moving. Wood's drying out a little bit. But I want that vein to get burned in so it's going to stay on it. All right. Moving it down a little bit. See if it'll do it. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, excuse me. Burn that vein. All right. Let's move it down. Like I said, I wanted to just go crawl down the side. I think that'll be really cool. Then I'll do some fill on the inside. And this is going to be a wall plaque. I'm just going to going to flatten the back a little bit more than it is, and then because uh, it's not. Then I got a got a place I'm going to put it in my uh, studio. Yeah, a little hanger. You know, this will be the top, and I'll kind of curve this up a little bit. I'll make it look neat. I'll round it off. I'll. Get rid of this. Oh, but it's going to get rid of that. Oh, no. Might just have to rethink what I'm going to do. Okay. Thank you all for reminding me on that. Okay. Too far? Oh, it's too far or it's too dry. Probably a little bit of both. Yeah, it's too dry. All right. That did last quite a while. So, put a little bit more baking soda and water solution on it. Just to help the current go. Just to help the voltage. Alright. So, what y'all doing for 4th of July? I'm doing this. Ha <laughs> ha. There's going to be some, uh, when the craft fair stuff starts happening again, which we have some really good ones here in Ohio, I think Mikey's going to get himself a booth this year. I'll have all sorts of stuff to, to put in there, I hope. And if they don't have it this year, I will be there next year. That's a slow burn. That's... That's burning deep. Kind of looks like a lava flow. It's really cool. All right, moving over. Moving over. Man, I wish I could have music on, but I keep running afoul of the uh, YouTube copyright. I was jamming earlier. All right, see, it's coming together. I'm liking it. A little, a little flash when they touch. It's like, huh? Oh. All right, trying to move it over. Try. I'd like to keep that going. And you, you're probably saying, hey, Mike, dude, it's looking all fuzzy right now. Wait till I, huh. wait till after I sand it. Everything is really sharp. No, you're supposed to, no, 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 come this way, come this way. Am I going to have to, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, yep, I see how, okay, look there, see, see, it connected, that's all I wanted, I just wanted it to connect, it's not even eHarmony.com. All right, let's see here, go there, let's go there. Want it to run up and, there. oh, it's going the right way, I like it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, baby, you can do it, there we go. I go a little closer, that might be too far away. This is just the neatest stuff in the world. I had some pieces of willow that connected onto this that I'd cut and I was uh, doing some experimentation what kind of uh, 
finish I want to put on the willow because I've never played with willow before. And I did this to this to that those two chunks last night, and I'll show you at the end of this video. This is just cool. But anyway, yeah. Uh, finally went in the house about 12.45 this morning. Got to bed about 107. Couldn't really sleep because I was thinking about this stuff. And then my body says, hey, by the way, you only get five hours of sleep. I was up at six. All right, getting dry, getting dry. So anyway, I'm sitting here right now running on fumes, but this stuff is just so cool. I want to avoid it. I kind of want to avoid this stuff, but maybe, well, it might be a tie-in. Maybe a tie-in right there or right there. See if I can get it to come this way. Helps to have some water. Some electrolyte solution. Not electrolyte. I can't remember what they call it. How do you chemistry? It is a solution, though. I know that. My 11-year-old would tell me that, too. All right, come on in, baby. Come on. Oh, there you go. The world you need to unite. Ah, outstanding. All right, so I'm gonna come out a little bit. See if it'll follow suit. If I'm not wearing a suit. It's still doing pretty good. It's branching out. Okay, now it looks like it's gonna start to connect. Let it burn a little bit just to darken or deepen that charred area. All right. I wonder if I can do this. Okay, what I want to do is right there, that corner, I want to get it to come over to here, see if that'll happen. Or is it going to flash? Oh, it flashed! That still worked pretty good though. I love it. That's cool. So what are we going to do now? Okay, I'm going to come down here to start filling in this area. Not sure what kind of uh, epoxy I'm going to use in this to fill this up. I think maybe red. I think red will be cool. It needs to be a, a really light color because a dark color just blends in too much with the char. It doesn't stand out. And I want my stuff to stand out. You know what I mean? You can't just sit in the background and be a wallflower. Uh-uh. It's got to stand out. Make itself be known. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. One bad part about this is this baking soda and uh, water solution will stain the wood. And willow is super, super soft anyway. It's like you look at it and it dents. Not really good for tables, which I found out after I slabbed up that trunk. All right. But I think maybe if I do a full, a full uh, cover coat, flood coat of epoxy, might be all right. The epoxy layer will give it some, some toughness. Give it some Nigel, Nigel Tufnell. Because Nigel likes to go serpentine. Anybody out there watch the TV show Eureka? Right now it's on Amazon Prime for free, or for what you pay for Prime. I just love that show. Me and Baby Metal Cowgirl will watch it when she comes over. It's hilarious. It's, it's a fun show to watch. You ought to check it out sometime if you haven't seen it. Yeah, there's a lot of science-y stuff. Now, some of their science in it's kind of, it doesn't work or it's wrong, but they, they, they sell it. It's pretty cool. For those of you who've never heard of it, it's about a, uh, 
secret government scientist town in Oregon called Eureka. Hence the name Eureka. Oh, oh when they come by and they're riding tandem, and the lady on back is doing nothing but staring into people's garages. Almost felt assaulted right then. It's better than being peppered, I guess. Oh, hold on. Ah, yeah, burn, baby. I love this dead man switch. I don't have got to be anywhere near it when I, when I do it. I'm not scared of it, but it is pretty high voltage. And my circuit breaker will pop. It's on a 15 amp breaker, so the circuit breaker will pop before anything happens. I believe it's the unit itself is internally protected at 15 amps. Alright, bring it out. One more time. See if it'll connect. Oh, man, I tell you what. I don't always do stuff perfect, but when something works out really good, I love it. Okay, so let's come back over here. Hey, 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 gotta move this. All right. And for those of you asking what I'm using, it's a neon light power supply. Runs on 115, 110 volt, 15 amp circuit. The company even recommends, says, hey, put it on a 15 amp circuit. Don't go 20. Its output is 10,000 volts and 30 milliamps. That's almost nothing in, in, in current. But a good, good amount of voltage there. But like I said, it, it wouldn't stick around long enough to hurt you. All right. Oh, I didn't realize it moved that way. That's cool. Give that a good burn. Oh, this stuff, sort of, I love it where it does that, it does the feathering. Which way is it going to go? Any bets? Maybe there. Maybe come off here. Maybe there. There's three good points. Let's see. Ah, it's at the, it made another one. Made its own. Very cool. Let's see if I can connect those up. Oh, it's amazing. You never know which path it's going to take. Very cool. It burns. Ah, oh, it's digging out that, that valley all the way back there. Alright, let's see which way is it going to go there. Oh, flash. Flash. Whoa. He'll save every one of us. Come on, admit it. Y'all sang that song back, back then. Little Flash Gordon. Emperor Ming. One of the most campy sci fi flicks ever. Alright, now. How badly off am I? Ah, not too bad. Okay. I'm just doing this to most of it just to balance out the staining. Because this stuff will stain. And then it looks funky on the end result. Alright, so it's got a little bit more to go. Then I will clean it up. Alright. So, I want to go in the middle. I wonder if it'll go all the way across. What do you say you find out? One, two, three, go. Ah, there you go. It was a little too far away, so it took a couple of seconds to get everything going. Yeah, I think this is going to be red epoxy. It's going to be sweet. Go ahead, fill in that whole area. Branch out. Have a party. Look at that. That is just very cool. Hope y'all can see that. It sure makes a lot of smoke though, because you know like you're burning wood and stuff, you know? 
So I do it out here in the garage. And I got a fan going over on the side. Burn that vein, baby! Alright, cool. Let's go to here. Place is just going. This is very cool. And every time you do this, it's different. There's no way to control it. It's just so random and it's amazingly cool. All right, bring this in for. Okay, where do I want to do connect it from? How about right there? Let's see what happens. Don't go directly to it. Get all serpentoying. Anyway, serpentoying, that's a character on Eureka, Taggart. He's listed as a crazy Australian. He plays the part well. Burn it in. Alright, let's go here. Now once the two connect like that. It doesn't spread out anymore because it's taking the path of least resistance, which is what electricity does. Uh, oh, look at that. That's filling in there. That is just awesome. I'm going to burn that in. I think I'm done with this. I don't want to mess with it at all beyond that. I want that to be a good deep vein. All right, very cool. So, back in a flash. All right, got my wire brush. Now I'm gonna get all the charred bits, scrub them out. Just gotta clear all the burn stuff out of the veins. It's a mess, and I hate the way the burn stuff gets in the in the grain. But I haven't had that be a big problem yet. Uh oh, my support boards are going. Run for your lives! Calling a team of engineers. Well, what happened, sir? Well, it looks like all our support shoring just gave way on him. I didn't know what hit him. Right. <laughs> it's looking ugly. Bear with me. Bear with me. Well, I had to tell myself a couple weeks ago, that's looking ugly. Like, Bear with me. Look around, look, see who was talking to me. I don't know. Like I said, this is going up on my wall. Oh man, I broke some of the bark off. When? Like I said, this is going up on my wall in the studio. For me, it's going to be very cool. Ah, oh, I missed that part in the middle. I guess with the dark stuff, you can always tell what heck, what areas it hit. That done with this. Compressor time. It's gonna get real loud and you will say, hey, quiet that down. Alright. 
But that gets all going as well. So I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down. I'm gonna go probably start 220 and go 320 to 400. And we'll call it a day at 400. And be right back. All right. Got to sand it down. Took the compressor, blew it out. Look at that. Everything that was looked all blurry and is overburned. Yeah, it got delicate, didn't it? a little bit but oh goodness look at that look at those tree roots exactly what it looks like is tree roots it's just amazingly cool spot right there now it didn't get any good cauliflowers out of it and the cauliflower is where it, where it stays really tight but it gets really veiny that's all right that's all right cauliflower is pretty cool anyway that's what it looked like right now but it ain't gonna be what it looks like here in a second all right boys and girls back in the studio um, one thing I forgot to mention before I, was, I so rudely interrupted myself. How's that look up there? Okay, cool, you can see it. Was, this, this wood is so soft um, that if I put epoxy on this, it's just gonna soak in and stain the wood really bad, right? And you don't want that because you want you know the epoxy to be here, not out here. So I hit it with some bullseye shellac, let that dry. What that does is it seals the top, makes it easier What's all said and done, the sand, and it makes it to where the, uh, the epoxy doesn't go into the wood. Or stain, I should say. Okay. So I have mixed up a little bit of magenta. Magenta. I think it's going to look magnificent. All right, so we're ready to go. So, people are going to look at me and go, Mike, what the heck are you doing? I'm pouring, baby. That's what I'm doing. I'm pouring. Now, you say you got a mess. I say you're right. But I also have a Bondo scraper. And what we're going to do is we're just going to draw it. I'm going to get back over here to this big stuff. And we're just going to let it fall in to the veins. Just drive across, let it fall in. Nothing fancy, nothing evil. Nothing super technical. You just draw it across. That's all you got to do. And you see how much it takes. I made up the smallest batch of epoxy that I can make up, right? Just under two ounces. I don't have anything else that will measure that, that small. I don't have small measuring cups or nothing. I'm gonna use maybe a quarter ounce of epoxy on this. Just kind of moving around. That big boy right there. Hey, no bubbles, no bubbles. We don't like bubbles. I'm just drawing it across, 
fill it in. some of this mess off. Now I'm pulling it up off so I can see where I'm at. All right. Now, I did do a couple other pieces. Like I said, the piece that goes over here and the piece that connects over here. I was using them as uh, just doing some testing out some different finishes for the for the for the willow. I did one blue, I did one orange. The orange faded in a little too much. You really can't pick it out. You gotta look real close. I mean, it looks awesome when you do see it. It's like, oh wow, yeah, that's cool. But it takes some effort. We don't like doing effort when you look at art stuff. We just like it to pop out and say, hey, how you doing? See if I can draw everything over. Look at there. Just like it was supposed to happen. All right, now, got a little runoff on the sides, that's okay. Kind of. This is gonna be fantastic. Now what's going to happen is, I'm going to let this sit for a couple of days so it'll, so it'll cure really good. Then I'm going to sand her down a little bit just to get the epoxy off the wood. Then I don't know what I'm going to put on it. I'm going to put some, some type of finish. This stuff, yeah, let me pour this in my, got a little uh, four ounce round uh, coaster mold over here that I like to pour my excess in. I can use it in projects later. That's like throwing it away. Even after it cures, I can still use it. All right, now, just in case, I don't think there's going to be any, but you just never know. Put the bubbles over here. All right. So y'all want a closer look? Cool. Welcome to a closer look. This is what I'm talking about. Got those red in those veins and those tree roots. Goodness, that looks sweet. Now this is still a little too dark. I need something a little brighter, a lighter shade. It looks cool. Hope I'm not making people sick with this. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. I mean, that's, uh, I will post. Oh, hold on. I almost forgot. Let me come over here. Try not to hurt anybody's feelings. Okay. This is the blue one I did earlier today. Get up on that. See, you can see the blue in there. You can see it a lot easier out here in the rural world. I didn't, I didn't really vein it up that much. Oh, that part right there is really cool. I loved how it, it just it sharpened up so close. I did this one this morning. I said I was up at 6 and I was out in the garage doing this by 6.30. This stuff's got me charged. I love it. That little one right there is very cool. Now, the first one I did, well, recently of the willow, this is the orange. It just looks dark. You get real close. The orange looks a lot like the bark. I don't even know if you could see it with the glare from the lights. The orange really blends in with that bark. It's 
kind of weird, but it looks cool. I mean, in person, you can check it out. You can see it. That one right there, you can really tell. It gives you an idea. That's a pretty wide vein. But yeah, I'm digging it. This is going to go up in the wall. It's going to be trimmed. Probably round off this end somehow. I don't want to lose this right there. I don't want to lose any of that. It's all cool. And this side up here, I was going to round off. But I don't want to lose that. I'll lose this in a second. That I want to keep. I hope you all have a wonderful day. This is Heavy Metal Cowboy, out.